Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm truly impressed and proud and honored to be here today to introduce those guest speakers. I'd like to pronounce a special guest for those who have come today to arrange and to make this conference so successful. It's a glad welcome we bring to you this morning, filled with the desires, hopes, and dreams we all share. My name is Turki Ali Zagan, a principal assistant at the Haga Intermediate and Secondary School. It is indeed my utmost privilege to be here today to introduce our next guest speaker. Mr. William A. Cox, a distinctive debater and a social media activist. Mr. A. Cox is an English teacher for STC in Jeddah. With business experience across four different industries, he holds EPA from Rutgers University in English History, as well as double masters, both in business and education, with a TESOL certification. In addition to all that, he has a unique and strong presence on Snapchat, and Instagram, and YouTube, under the name Ask Teacher Well. The information he has been providing through these platforms was found to be informative in terms of content and delivery. Today, our dear guest, today our dear guest will be sharing with us his expert opinion on the impact of social media in the areas of language learning. Therefore, the ideas which will be discussed today will ultimately answer many questions related to this conference. Drawn from his own field of expertise and daily practices on social media, Mr. William will shed the light on the controversy around social media's credibility as a trusted source of information and a strong platform. And a strong platform, and also whether a person is able to determine any advantages or disadvantages in the way of communicating information towards learning. The audience shall also be briefed about the paradox between the proponents and opponents of social media's impact on teachers and students. His videos and the continuous online debate sessions intending for changing the face of English has paid off according to many followers and myself. With nothing further to say, let us all welcome on stage with a round of applause, Mr. William A. Cox. Good afternoon, salam alaikum, how are you? Oh, no, 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 no. Good afternoon, salam alaikum, how are you? All right, well, my name is Teacher Will. It's my first time being here in Jaizan. I'm extremely honored to be here. I'd like to thank those individuals from Wall Street, English, and Jaizan for inviting me. And today's topic, I want to talk about the influence, the power of social media. Now, the first thing I want to ask you is, I want to be done in about 10 minutes, inshallah, and then I'm the type of presenter where I want to hear from you. So the first question I have for you is, please raise your hand if you have a social media account. If you have an Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat. All right, so most people have it here. Now, think about it this way. The generation, the Generation X, not the baby boomers, but the current generation has social media. And if you are an educator, and all of us are educators, or if you are over the age of 40 years old and you do not have some sort of social media account, particularly in the ESL industry field, then you are not being competitive and understanding your student needs. But first of all, let us talk about when you think of communication, what is communication? Anybody know? Communication is the ability to effectively impart knowledge in English, to be fluent, to understand and be able to convey your ideals and suggestions in four language skills, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. And for most of us, or at least in my experience, individuals only want to speak English. 
And that is a very good quality. But in my personal opinion, if you want to be a good speaker, you need to focus on reading or writing. And for those of you that might be a little scared, a little apprehensive of speaking the language, the only way that you get better at doing something is just, like Nike said, just do it. Now everyone, we've had speakers before talk about the value and importance of English. English is one of the most commonly known languages in the world. Many people, over 1.7 billion people, were learning English last year. English is the official language of over 61 countries. And yes, here in even Saudi Arabia, we have had speakers before talking about the importance of English. Yet I would say to you, I dare you to dare yourself to ask yourself the question, do you feel as though men Women, do you feel as though that English is important to learn? What is your reason for learning English? And if you know that reason, what particular solutions are you doing to be the best English learner possible? Next slide, please. Personally, I believe that English is more than a language. It is a way of life. What is the value of English? When you know English, you understand someone else's culture. When you understand English, as the previous speaker said, you are involved in critical thinking. But then let's talk about social media. Now, for most of us, myself included, I thought that social media was just a particular thing pertaining to the 21st century. But yet, since the dawn of humankind, people have been trying to communicate with each other for thousands and thousands of years. In the early years, if I had a horse, and let's say Brother uh, Sadiq, Brother Sadiq, really? Sorry. Brother Save, if Brother Save lived in Jeddah, and I lived in Jezan, we would communicate, or try to communicate, by horse, or by written letters. So you, social media has been around for thousands and hundreds of years. I'd like to draw your attention to something. Let's think about two important dates, 1890, 1891, with the invention of the radio and the invention of the telephone, fundamentally transformed how we as human beings communicate with each other. And as you can see in this slide, ask yourself the question, what would the world be without Facebook? without YouTube, without Twitter, without Snapchat. How has your communication process changed with all of these applications? And think about how right now in 2019, social media has changed the way you communicate, has changed the way that you interface with individuals. So think about now in 2019, and then what will be the next application? in which will help you to communicate. And while I'm on that subject, next slide please, let me say this. English for me is a tool. It is a form of communication. And I recommend that English, the most important thing for those of you that might be interested or ask yourself the question, if English is a tool, then I recommend that you first focus on fluency. Fluency is the same way that you are able to speak your native language of Arabic is the same way that you are able to speak English. First focus on fluency and then focus on accent. It's been my experience that a lot of times people want to sound like a native. There is nothing the matter with the way you sound. And the purpose of a language is to be understood. So focus on fluency first, and then accent. Now, for those individuals that are in the educational industry, social media has changed the way that teaching is delivered. Your students expect for you to bring some sort of social media in the classroom. Why is that? Because for most of them, from the ages of two or three or four, they grew up with it. And so therefore, if you want to be a teacher and you want to have, and by the way, 
I believe that teaching is a symbiotic relationship between you, the teacher, and the student. I believe that teaching is the ability to motivate and empower your students to learn. Yet, what becomes important is the student has a responsibility and accountability for learning the language. Never take the student out of the equation. And you can use social media as one of the vehicles, not the only vehicles. Now, in anything in life, I've recognized and I've realized that there are cons and pros. So, let's see. Where is Mr. Zodi? Is Zodi here? Zodi. What does con mean? Con. I have on the board con. Can you explain to me what con means? I'm interactive. Con. Anybody know? A disadvantage. Very good. All right, so what does pro mean? Advantage. So in anything in social media, there's good and bad. There's, there's cons and there's pros. Now, here is the question. Before we go to the next slide, someone give me, we're going to talk about disadvantages first. I'm going to pick on people. The great, oh, doctor, may I? I you're important, doctor. <laughs> Doctor, please give me one disadvantage you think of social media. Uh, especially in teaching English or generally speaking? Your opinion, doctor. Generally speaking. Generally speaking, generally speaking it's uh, something that we need, all people need it, but we have to be very careful, especially with our children. Exactly. Okay, now in teaching English or any other language actually, I can say we need it, we need it and we need it, but we have to be careful how to use it actually. And by the way, one of my son, Ayman, his uh, PhD dissertation in using uh, Twitter in teaching science. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? One more disadvantage? Oh, we have a student. Okay, we have a follower. We have a student. Brother, let them know who you are. Go. Give me one disadvantage of social media. Uh, I'm Sanjay Brown Amri. Hello. Uh, I think a disadvantage from social media and everything in this life have. Uh, bad things and good things and we as uh, human beings we have to take the good things from social media like learning the, uh, ourselves and this is one the, from this is the advantage we must get from the social media I love it thank you so much my name is Ahmed Abdul Asi I think one of the disadvantages of social media is sacrificing privacy oh, say that again Sacrificing privacy. Brother, give me a high five. I like that. Now, all of these individuals have made very good comments. There are tons of disadvantages. I would like to talk about three. Next slide, please. Has anyone in the day of age cyber bullying? Has anybody been bullied online? Anyone? Anyone been bullied online? Talked about, disrespected? Most of us. Is that a yeah? Most of us. Cyber and bullying is a major disadvantage of social media. Why? Because sometimes people do not have what I call digital etiquette. They feel or think as though they can say anything they want because, because they are behind a screen. And so it gives them carte blanche to be disrespectful, to talk about someone's race or ethnicity or religion or non-religion, and they don't care. Cyberbullying is real. Over 65% of teenagers in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia last year experienced some form of cyberbullying. So the question is, or something to think about is, what will you do if you are a recipient of cyberbullying and or if you know of someone, what accountability do you have to prevent that. Hold yourself, or let me make an I statement, I like to hold myself that even online, I should be respectful. Because why? Because words do cut, and words are important. So cyberbullying, a disadvantage. The other. Next. New technologies. Anyone teachers here? And you feel as though or think as though you have the latest update coming out? And sometimes the students expect 
for the technology to be incorporated in class and there's so many additions that sometimes the teachers have a, a difficulty adapting to the technology. Sometimes the students or the learners expect that all the class should be is just on Twitter or Facebook or YouTube or another application and they fail to recognize the value of the teacher. So the teacher might sometimes have a problem adapting. And as my colleague and brother said over there, reputation, the reputation. If you are on social media, I recommend that you keep your business private. In this day and age of fake news, regardless if it's in my country from America or even your respective country, one bad comment can ruin your reputation. So make sure that you separate. If you are on social media, my recommendation to you is, is that you have a private account and a personal account and watch what you say because depending on where you live, that information might be held against you either in employment opportunities or personal opportunities. But those are the disadvantages. I wanna talk about the advantages. I wanna talk about the benefits. Next slide, please. Well, collaboration. What does the word collaboration mean? Anybody know? Yes, sir. Say it again, say it again. Louder, louder, louder. Stand up, stand up. Working with someone. What's another word? Give me a synonym. Working with someone. Anyone? Yes, sir. Working together, partnership. The advantage of social media in, in this day and age. Just go to the other two bullets, please, sir. Student participation and the classroom is global. You have the ability to work with anyone around the world on whatever topic you want there to be. And for those of you that might say, or at least some of my students that I've had over the years, oh, there's nobody to speak English with in Saudi. I can't speak English with nobody. Really? Well, we had extremely professional individuals from the ministry telling you, if there is no one to speak English with, in your country, in your city, that's the value of social media. Get, find a language exchange partner. There are WhatsApp groups, tele, the telegraph groups, everything. So, student participation increases, partnership, working together, and the classroom between the teacher and student is global. So the question then becomes next, after I believe giving the advantages and the disadvantages of social media, for those instructors, for those educators, what particular things can be used, can be implemented in your classroom from a social media perspective to enhance, to improve your learning? And I have three suggestions as a thought. Cyber pals. Remember back in the day for somebody my age, anybody over the age of 45 and before we had social media, I won't embarrass anybody if anybody is, but for those, thank you, sir, thank you. See, do you remember the day when we didn't have social media and what did we do? We wrote a letter, right? So the letter, just think of writing a letter cyberly. And for, you know, anywhere in the world. It can be in your city, it can be in your country. And what I recommend that you do is, by the way, you do not, I believe, teacher will believe, you do not have to learn English just by a native. The goal of the language is to speak and understand. So find a cyber pal in the world and communicate with him or her. For those of you that are in the classroom, involved in online learning or educational learning, I recommend that, hey, there's something called classroom blogs. Create a topic. For example, global warming is created by man or, or it's created naturally. And post that blog or post that comment. What's the value of that? You will be able to think critically you will be able to focus on your reading and your writing skills, and it's another form of collaboration. And the last thing that you see here is what I call a live Instagram. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you see this gentleman right here, Sadiq. Save. Save, why do I keep, oh my goodness. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Save, hold on. Okay. Public service announcement, brother. I'm so sorry, I know your name, I apologize. No problem. All right, I'm sorry. All right, now listen. If anybody has Instagram, we're going to play a quick game. I have three minutes left, right? About that. 
Good. All right, listen, if you, are, if you have Instagram right now, I want you to go on to Instagram, ask underscore teacher will, and we're going to play a quick game with you and the followers because I believe in collaboration. And I'm going to ask this gentleman right here. We're going to play two words. We're going to play a word game talking about collaboration. Doctor, can you give me a word, but don't tell them. Just give me a word, and we're going to see if they guess it. All right, so hopefully you logged into Ask underscore Teacher Will, and we're gonna play a game, because I believe in collaboration and partnership and working together. So the doctor gave me a word. Now, let's see if either the followers can get it or you can get it. This is, this word is a noun. And the noun, it's a city, and it's a very beautiful city. Oh, uh, Jazan. Jazan. All right. All right. All right, sir. How are you? Okay, good. Uh, give me another word. All right. One last thing. One last word. This word is a noun, and it means to work together, to partner together, that is essential in the educational industry. And the word begins with letter C. Collaboration. Collaborate. So my time is up. In the spirit of collaboration, in the spirit of partnership, I would like to thank everyone. If you need to get in contact with me, that's all of my social media application or uh, information. I would encourage you to recognize and realize the value of how social media is transforming and not only transforming the framework of education, but how also by being on social media, you can have an understanding of yourself and someone else's culture. And one of the things that I can say particularly of being value is that I like to walk the walk and talk the talk. A lot of, I am from America, and a lot of times when I have my thopo on, people think that I'm Saudi or Sudanese or Nigerian. But yes, I'm American, and my father is American, and my grandfather was American. And social media adds value. When you learn about a different culture, you have a greater appreciation of yourself, and you can enhance your English. Thank you very much for your time, and if, there, if I have time for questions, fine. Personally, and on behalf of everyone here, I'd like to thank Mr. William Kalkos for the educative, informative, and related to education lecture. So thank you so much. Um, as a matter of fact, yeah. And in relation to the... شكر مقدم من إدارة التعليم ومكتب فرسال الأستاذ تركي علي زعكا. And uh, by the way, I almost forgot in relation to today's topic, which is being presented presented by Mr. William. To we will be interviewed to um, a very distinctive student who has learned English through social media. Okay, now the third winner of Wall Street course. Okay, 
Would you go please to uh, Wall Street corner there?